All right, guys, today's demonstration is on a blind bearing puller. So first off, let me define what a blind bearing is uh, in their video here. So you can see in here that we can see through the shaft. And on this one here, we can't get through the other side. So we don't have the luxury of coming from here and driving the bearing out this way, you know, once this retainer would be taken out. So we got to try and figure out a way that we can get this out. Now, sometimes what you can do is just heat this up to that 230, 250 degrees and literally just tip the motor over, keep heating right here and the bearing will drop out on its own. But this, this tool is very functional to make this happen where we don't have to worry about that. So let's focus on the tool. Okay, this one here is, believe it or not, a Harbor Freight brand. You can see here, uh, as we buy it multiple, these are our tools get so violated, this works pretty good. I wouldn't buy this probably for the person working, you know, all day long in a shop as a mechanic. I'd buy an OTC or Snap-on or Mac or something of higher quality. But for us, you're going to see that it works. Well, what I'm going to do is I'm going to... I'm going to pop one of these through an, an, uh, an open bearing here and show you what it looks like because you aren't going to be able to see it until we get the bearing out. So what you kind of do is size it up here until you see something that will slide through. And then what happens is this is also a term in the machining world called an expandable collet. So what that means is when you have slots in here, that's a collet. Do you remember we were using a die grinder last week and putting in that eighth inch cutting bit yeah. and we were tightening up a collet? this is what you couldn't see. So watch what happens here. When I, when I uh, set this bearing to the edge here and I thread this in, do you see how it's, it, I'll, t I'll undo it again. Do you see how it's, it's small? Mm -hmm. And when I thread it in, do you see how it expands out? Yeah. Okay, so what's happening is this bearing has just got, this tool has just enough material to capture that inner race. And then what we're gonna do is we're gonna attach it to this slide hammer And notice here, I'm not even really using any tools or anything. And then what I would do is I would hit this and I would pull it out of the case, okay? So now that you understand how the tool actually functions, let's make sure that you're completely understanding that when you have this in place, there's not a lot of real estate when you think about it, is there? And do you also see how it's on a taper? and then it gets flat on the top. So it's very, very minimal contact. So once again, what we like to use is heat to just make this process go better. Make sense? So here's the way I like to do it. I'm gonna go do it on a real application. And then you guys are gonna do the same. I wanna take and uh, uh, size up my bearing here. And I need to be able to make sure that I can get through. And I'm gonna go ahead and tighten this up. Do you see how I'm, I'm actually, I, I'm all the way through and I'm on the bottom. But when I start to get close to tightening it up, do you see how I'm making sure that I'm straight? Mm -hmm. if, if I'm not straight, from what you guys saw, is I wouldn't get all four fingers on the bearing very good, would I? Okay, so then here I could take and uh, really snug this up with another flat wrench here if I needed to, but realistically I feel pretty good about this. I got a good bite on it, okay? Now what I do is I'm gonna get it hot. Get the case hot. Now this is just a practice motor, so I'm gonna stop for right there and just try and move forward with this. Now be careful with this. This the slide hammers are are labeled as the weight of this this uh, hammer, if you will. Okay. So this might be a five pound, I'm not sure what it is. But if you're not paying attention, you're holding on right here and you drop that down, it is gonna take some skin off, okay? So watch what I'm doing. Everybody see this, I'm really supporting it good. I'm gonna go ahead and thread this on here. And I'm not gonna use any tools, okay? And now what I'm gonna do, you're gonna see I'm just gonna pop this baby out. And that is how you get a blind bearing out, okay? That little bit of heat. These aren't. These are not near the interference fit as a crankshaft is. So these do come out a little bit easier. But now let's take a look and see if I did a good job or not. You can actually see that I got good real estate. I'm really nice and even on the on the bearing itself. It's not crooked or anything else. So I I did a good job. Now the installation is just going to be like our other ones, where we actually heat the case up, get it nice and level, and tap it in with the bearing installer. This is just a removal tool for when they're really uh, 
um, they're really small. Look at the little guy it comes with. This will do like a lot of your moped or your needle bearings. It'll, this case doesn't have it for the clutch, but you guys remember how like up here you had some real small um, clutch needle bearings and stuff. So anywhere that you can get onto something that has a race, you can use this to remove the tool.